so we gotta shim that door opening and then we're gonna do door install. Everybody else is either wiring or roof sheathing. I got the three foot roll of waterproofing. Basically, we're gonna start at one corner and do several courses around. And then once that's in, then we're gonna do our door installation with locking hardware. Rudy, I was wondering if you wanna assemble the lock, yes. door lock, okay. The door is in my truck, it's pre-hung. Let's go look at that real quick. This class is about building a little house from the ground up. So you guys come over here and then let's just go down. Careful though, yeah. So this is a pre-hung door, pretty sweet because it has the jam and the sill already installed. Want to guess how much this costs? $500. Yes. Wow, it's $536, yeah. Exterior door pre-hung, hard to beat. You can hang it yourself, but this is nice. It's square already. It's got the holes bored out. It's got the sill. This is the outside of the house on this side. But still installing it is gonna be tricky and we're gonna have to get it just right. This swings open. It swings in. I know it makes sense to do outswing for tiny house, but it costs more and it's a little bit harder to waterproof. So we're gonna do in swing. All right, sound good? The students learn everything that goes into making a habitable space that's insulated and weather tight and learn just basic carpentry techniques that they can pretty much build anything. I'm part of the construction management program. So my goal is to become a general contractor. So I wanted to add on to my portfolio of work that I do because I do electrical, plumbing, HVAC. What about this? Nice Yeah. <laughs> Tiny houses are great for educational purposes because we go through the whole process from start to finish. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to because a thousand watts divided by 120 gives you about 8.3 amps. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why we do tiny houses, but there's also a, a need for them in the community. I'm actually a veteran and my goal is to hopefully build a tiny home park for veterans mainly for veterans first, and then try to get it for homeless people. So we've done housing for homeless folks and other community-based organizations that can benefit from them. So there's two that were built for the city of Oakland for that are a pilot project for student housing. Students that, Laney students who are housing insecure can live there for pretty much free, I think. And so those are currently being used as a pilot project and we're hoping to build more of that when there's more funding available. On a plywood joint, you need blocking, which is just two by four framing material that spans that joint. However, on the roof, you can use these little clips instead of blocking between each sheet. So one sheet goes in there, the other sheet goes in there. And it supports it enough so that you don't need blocking. You can just use one piece of insulation for the ceiling. You don't have to stop it. Anytime you can save labor on ceiling insulation stuff, use it. We try to really think of the house in a holistic way and teach everything that they need to know in order to build their own house. All right, Jeff, you need any more nails? So a lot of students have personal projects that they're working on or want to build their own house someday. I have bought a trailer, a 20-foot trailer, to build a tiny house. And I like that because it's portable, so you can move it somewhere. But it's also like, so you own something rather than paying rent to someone else. And then there's less to maintain. There's less work on an ongoing basis. Like, if you need to replace something, you're replacing a lot less of it, you know? If you had to redo the whole site on the whole house or repaint it, that's gonna be a lot less than like, you know, a 2,000 square foot house. With any waterproofing member, you start at the bottom and go up so that the layers, the layers at the top layer over the layers at the bottom. Can you guys hold top and bottom all right, I'll hold this side, you hold that side. And I'm gonna, let's start, hold on, don't, don't unspool anymore, walk to, me, walk to me. I think a good tiny house has to be custom. It can't be 
the, the same as a bigger house but shrunken down. It has to be thoughtfully designed and built to be smaller. So things like custom furniture and cabinetry, the material choices and the indoor air quality, outswing versus in-swing door. There. Take your time with Almost this. The detailing is a little more complicated and intricate in a tiny house than a regular house. This thing doesn't even, I can't even do it too hard because it'll fall over. <laughs> I'm 16. I just finished, I just took the high school proficiency exam. Whoa. I'm gonna be a carpenter, so I'm gonna get my associate's degree in carpentry here. I really like working with my hands, but I also like being able to, like, you know, there's a lot of thinking involved as well. I get to do both. I get to have the thinking part of it, and the, and I've always been very good at math, and really enjoyed that, but I've found that, like, just math-centered environments can be really intense and unpleasant. But, yeah, I like, I like this. I'm here now because I've worked a lot of jobs I've hated and I've been miserable and no amount of money was gonna make it okay. And so my lesson there was like, okay, money does matter, but also it's like all the money in the world will mean nothing if I hate my job. Nice. We committed the crime that you were talking about. We were, we're, we're out of level on a rap. That's okay. So what do, you, what do you do to correct it? Do you cut it and start over? Kind of, no, we'll just finish this course and then we'll do a bigger overlap for the other one. Okay. It's not I do some construction work and I decided that I wanted to be a, a little bit more s steering as opposed to being a passenger because it makes you not think of doing it yourself. So once we get the next layer, we'll, be, we'll cut the opening so we'll be able to get in the, do the door. I'm trapped! Um, sorry Nate, you need anything? Uh, Maybe some so coming to a program like this, you're the one who's the in control of everything. And T111, what's that one? What's the thing? Five eighths. Wood siding should be five eighths to three quarter. We built this one from plans. We built all this. And so that's what's exciting because as a team, we get to consult with each other. We work together really closely and you can learn from one another. So like we have this plywood that's a half inch. Half inch. Oh no, it is three quarters. It's three quarters. So. We want the saw blade to go just like an eighth to a quarter below that. So I love the trades, learning about them because it's a transferable skill. So it's like if you learn this, right, it's like I'm no longer stuck to be like, oh, I have to be working here for the rest of my life because I go where my job is. It's like, no, I can go anywhere and take the skill with me. And if I get fired from my job, I can take my skills with me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Unlock again. Okay. All right, we'll set this down. All right, now adjust the blade. I am an architecture student and I'm really interested in tiny houses as a solution to the Bay Area's housing crisis. I've heard that up to 10% of community college students in California are in unstable living conditions, so they might spend some time at home, they might spend some time in a car, they might be staying at their friend's house, or they might just be homeless. There's an emergency and it's one of the solutions. I think making it so that legally there can be more alternative dwellings, whether that's you know RVs, mobile homes, tiny houses on wheels, tiny houses not on wheels, accessory dwelling units. I think it's kind of like a all of the above thing. And we're trying to give people the skills to both work in the field as a builder and then also build it themselves if they want to. I think housing is just like one of the biggest issues that we have today. Also, I mean, I think our needs are changing fundamentally as a society. We don't need big houses. We're not having big families. And in fact, more and more young people are coming to cities to work. And there's a huge demand for that. And so we're trying to fill that niche. Nate, we're gonna cut you out. We're gonna cut you out. 
But anything that you learn building a tiny house does extend to building a regular size house. We're gonna cut our door opening just so, so Nate can come out. Nate, are you still in there? I'm slowly dying. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my corner. I can just feel it. 